We all know boats are safer ashore when there's a storm coming, but what do you do when you have to leave your boat in the slip? Today I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to show you how to secure your boat so it has the best possible chance of surviving the storm. Hi, Mark Cork here from Boat US Magazine. If you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the like button. Let's start with the basics. We're going to need at least 12 lines and they should be at least double the length of the boat. So let's get started. The lines need to be in excellent condition. I've just bought these, these are brand new. This is three strand nylon, which has got lots of stretch. Ideal for tying up the boat when there's a hurricane coming. This is double strand rope. It's seen better days and it's very frayed. And this was something I should not be using. To tie up my boat, I'm gonna be using three strand nylon. This is 5 8 diameter, but it's always better to use a thicker diameter than you think you might need. If my boat's a 32 foot trawler, and this is ideal for that. If you have a smaller boat, you can go thinner, but I wouldn't really go under half an inch in diameter. So let's get started by making the lines off to the cleat. Some lines like this one have a loop in the end ready. This one does not. So I'm gonna to have to pass this through the chock and then make it off on the cleat. And then I've got a helper, so I'm gonna pass this ashore. So it's important to remember that whenever possible that we don't have more than two lines on a cleat. That reduces chafe and it also means that the cleat itself is not overloaded. I've added a line to the other side now and you can see that they cross behind the boat. The reason for this is it gives better chafe protection and also gives me more shock absorbency. The other thing is that if I had a boat with outboards on the back I probably wouldn't want to do this because the propeller would chew into the lines and cut through the rope. I've secured the bow in exactly the same way as I've secured the stern, except you'll notice two things. One is I've actually tied to a piling farther away from the boat. That gives me a chance to allow for the storm surge as the boat rises and also gives me more shock absorbency. The other thing that you'll notice is that I haven't crossed the lines at the bow. I've actually run straight from the chock straight to the piling here. If I'd crossed them over, they would be round the front of the boat and actually the anchor would cut into them and they wouldn't last very long at all. So I've just finished tying off the boat now. We've got two lines and they're just different colours are actually both the same. And the reason for that is if one chafes through, we'll make sure that we have a backup so the boat isn't free. And the other thing there is that you'll notice that they're quite slack and that's to allow for the storm surge. So as the boat rises up, it's not going to go drum tight and going to break something. Now that I've finished tying off the bow and the stern, it's time to add the spring lines. And these are very important because they stop the boat from surging back and forth in the slip and damaging the side of the boat. Now that I've finished tying the boat up, one important step is chafe protection because you might not think it, but when the boat moves backwards and forwards, it will saw through these ropes very quickly. There's a couple of ways of doing this. And one, I've used some old jeans here, old blue jeans. They will need to be whipped to the line to hold it in place with some whipping twine. But much more convenient is these ready bought ones which have a hook and loop th system and they grip the line and that's all you need to do and it holds it in place and that'll protect the line now. Now that I've secured the boat, I'm pretty confident that it's not gonna move and it's gonna be as safe as I can possibly make it for the coming storm. Don't forget to check out our hurricane playlist on YouTube and also go to a boatus.com website where you'll find a hurricane preparation and resource guide. 